there, Capricorn. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of September of 2021. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, we, we could be talking to a cross watcher, so the roles could be reversed, yeah? So keep that in mind. Also, um, what was I going to say? Oh, if... <laughs> Sorry, Capricorn. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All the information is in the description box below. Also, if you would like some extra monthly content or you would just like to support the channel, you can do so over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be also found in the description box below. All right, Capricorn, let's get into this here. So there seems to have been, uh, I have a pre-shuffle here for you. There seems to have been a shift in perspective or a sudden realization. It does feel sudden for you, Capricorn. I don't know, I, I don't know exactly why, other, other than the fact that, and, may, and, and maybe this is just your practical nature, Capricorn, that we're speaking to here. Because what I'm getting, what I'm picking up for you is that there was an element that you were steadily persevering towards you it was like it was like commonplace it was a common thing um you know it was something that you have been doing regularly for a, a long amount of time like it was a steady thing it maybe even was like a staple within your life something that you always did something that you were always associated with something that was always like a part of your daily routine or something like that that's what it feels like but now all of a sudden suddenly it feels like you're no longer interested in this. Overall energy is the Four of Cups. Underneath the Four of Cups is the Two of Wands to the Queen of Cups here. Mm, to the Queen of Pentacles. There you are, Capricorn. To the Ace of Swords. There's something that you're no longer willing to give your time and your attention to. Maybe you're no longer wanting to give your involvement into Queen of Pentacles. Okay? Um... And in order for you to, to make a decision in how to move forward here, you're going to have to really focus on what it is you feel about this. So this is the type of situation, Capricorn, where it's like, you know, technically or logically speaking, you would probably want to or feel required to continue to move forward with this, but, or continue to, to, to do this, okay? But ultimately, if it is draining you, if it is leaving you feeling anything less than happy or content that you are a part of it, that uh, leaving you anywhere less than being willing to continue to be involved, then that's a cause for concern. Or at least that is a cause for you to start asking questions about what it is you truly feel or how it is you truly feel about something that you're involved with, maybe even someone that you're involved with, I don't know. But start, that, 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 is a, that is a perfectly valid reason for you to start asking questions of yourself. Why am I still involved with this? What am I doing here? Why do I need to continue doing this? Now, continuing with your overall energy, what you do have is the Seven of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So, there are a lot of questions in your mind, in the forefront of your mind. There may even be a lot of confusion right now. But what you're doing is the best thing that you practically can to stay afloat. That's what I'm hearing. So yes, excuse me. In some cases, Capricorn, this is a situation in which somebody is about to leave a certain situation. Uh, I'm hearing a job or a certain financial institution. Okay. Um, and you could end up leaving or you're maybe you're making plans or preparations to leave this environment to leave this circumstance whatever but in the meantime until you're absolutely ready to do that until you've gotten to the point where you understand what it is you you're feeling or you've been able to clear up the confusion in your mind you're needing to keep the balance right now two of pentacles which includes for some of you, which includes not letting anybody on to what it is you're ruminating around in your mind. To whatever whatever questions you have in your mind, whatever it is you're trying to figure out, not letting anybody in on that, keeping that to yourself. And then you do have two more cards here that have come out. They fell face down and it's the Ten of Wands to Justice. So what's happening underneath the surface for you, Capricorn, right now is that you're going through a process of weeding out what I just heard was weeding out the over expenditures. 
So this actually could be financially, okay? Maybe you're giving too much of your income or your resources to individuals or certain situations that are not, it's not like a balanced give or take. Um, or this is energetically, okay? With your time and your attention and your energy, not necessarily just your physical, uh, your finances, all right? But there is an over expenditure here. And what's happening right now, Capricorn, is you are going through the process of figuring out how you can tighten that up, how you can uh, shore up the leaks here. Yeah. Cool, Capricorn. All right. Let's get into the rest of this here. I'm going to give this. I'm going to give this three shuffles for you. OK. Um, what I just heard is Capricorn is ready and balanced and ready to get down and do the dirty work. All right, Capricorn. Let's get into this for you then. Here we go. Three shuffles. One. For my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2021. This is two. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for a complete picture as to what could be going on for you during this time period. Yeah? And this is three. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what we've got for you. So what's going on for you this month? Let's cut the deck here. All right. Overall energy for you, Capricorn. Okay. Yes, this is perfect. You have the four of swords. Capricorn, this is exactly where you need to be right now because you've got to ruminating. You have got to, you have got to clear. Oh, oh. I don't want you to take this the wrong way. I don't want you to feel like we're being degrading or we're trying to put you down, but you've got to take some time away to focus on clearing up the I just heard the madness in your head. Ugh, all right. But the confusion, it might feel like madness because there's so much swirling around your head right now. But four of swords, this is exactly where you need to be. Allowing yourself the time and the space to go through and, 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 and observe and come to an understanding of what is in front of you right now. Okay. Underneath the four of swords, you have, there's the ten of wands again. So it feels like for some of you, what's coming into focus here, Capricorn, is exactly how you are overburdened right now. And you really need some time. You need some time. You need some time away to sit down and think it through. But you need this time away to think it through so you can come to your own conclusions, Capricorn. And you can figure out what it is you want to do about this, how you want to relieve yourself of this burden right now, okay? Underneath the Ten of Wands is the sun. That's beautiful. And then underneath the sun is the king of pentacles interesting capricorn the king of pentacles has come out for all of the earth signs today taurus virgo and capricorn um and really the only thing that i'm getting from the king of pentacles is i'm in control i have the power here and when we're talking about your own life you are absolutely right capricorn you do have the power here you are in control here so what I feel like the King of Pentacles is representing is really just a practical and very down-to-earth point of view or stance in this situation, okay? Pra like, you're focused on practicality, which makes perfect sense. Or you're focusing on this through the lens of practicality, okay? Let's get into the rest of the reading here for you. First half and second half. The first half of your reading is going to look at the past energies up until the current moment. Second half of your reading is going to look at the current moment up until the future. Yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. In the first half of your reading, you have the Page of Wands. Good. Re-identifying yourself. But what I'm getting for you, Capricorn, in this is that this is more than just one day you wake up and feel different and, you, and that's inspired you to move forward. This feels like... There was a moment in the past, Capricorn, where you made the conscious decision that something needs to change and that something starts with your own self. But that feels like it was very conscious. It was a very conscious awareness. You, you, you woke up to the fact that you needed to make a change in your life in order for you to see a different result or in order for you to see something actually change, a circumstance, a situation actually change in your life. But in order for that to happen, you had to be the one to change first. Page of Wands. Beautiful. Page of Wands is coupled with, well, shit, Capricorn, death. <laughs> there you go. 
But death is rep is the representation of the transformation. So not only are we rep are we are we speaking to a transformation that's happening on a conscious level in the three D page of wands, but this is also a spiritual change. So what it feels like here, Capricorn, is this came this this desire, this need for change came through, originated on a soul level for you, and then filtered down to be representative now in your physical reality from death to the page of wands. Okay. And again, uh, this page of wands, especially now that it's coupled with the higher spiritual energies of death, this page of wands feels even more like a conscious effort to make a change in your life. Beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading is the two of wands. Okay. Choosing how to move forward. However, initially, Capricorn, this choice feels like the choice of do we change or do we not change? Like yes or no? Simple question. Yes or no? Mm, yes. Oh, sorry. Yes was over here. <laughs> Two of Wands is coupled with the Queen of Swords. And you know what's so funny? As I was doing that demonstration, what it felt like was uh, there really is no choice here. I mean, like, yes, we have a choice, but there was obviously a much better outcome that is possible but there's obviously a much better path for us to walk uh, there is an ob it's obvious there is an ideal choice here and that choice is yes to change queen of swords okay recognize capricorn that this is not the king of swords so this is not an energy of let me sit here for a hot second and really observe everything make sure i've got all the details and all the facts in order before i make my decision no there's nothing to investigate here or at least capricorn there wasn't anything to investigate here at the time that you made this decision it was quite clear it's a basic yes or no question and quite frankly it's obvious that yes is the answer. Queen of Swords, Two of Wands. Yes? Okay. Ugh. Freaking cat hair. Sorry, Capricorn. All right. Uh, your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Capricorn, is the Seven of Swords. Whoa. Uh, I feel like this is what you're escaping. This is what you're getting away from. But also, like I said, Capricorn... Um, your challenge here is to not necessarily let anybody in on the fact of that you're ruminating over something or whatever it is you're even ruminating over. The Seven of Swords is deception, but it doesn't always have to be like backstabbing, lying, cheating type deception. It, 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 at its basic form, it represents getting away with something and that doesn't necessarily have to be bad. I mean, it could also represent making moves and doing things for yourself without anybody knowing or without letting anybody know. Literally trying to keep it a secret, but for potentially a very good reason, okay? Seven of Swords, as your challenge in the first half of your reading, is coupled with there's justice again. So there you go. There you go, Capricorn. Even though there may be an element to this that is very, very secretive for you, it doesn't mean that it's not a that it's a bad thing. And quite frankly, you keeping this a secret is actually helping you to bring greater justice into your life. Okay. I don't know why and I don't know how and I can't really pinpoint it, but you keeping this a secret is actually working out in your favor quite well. Is like aiding in the universe to help you bring this justice forward. So this might be one of those situations where maybe you have a ton of toxic people or to of people that would like that would try to sabotage you okay um this could either be they could be sabotage they could be saboteurs for vindictive reasons or they could be saboteurs like they could be inadvertently be saboteurs and not realize that their their vibration their point of view their actions only work to sabotage others not only not only others but it also works to sabotage themselves okay but like there is a real reason there is a real reason for and there is definitely a real need for you keeping something secret right now capricorn all right no shame no shame in that Closing message or potential outcome for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading, you have 
Mm, the Three of Swords. Okay. But overcoming heartbreak somehow. Three of Swords is coupled with... Ah, there you go. Chariot. And so, um, overcoming heartbreak, yes. But also, what you may not necessarily understand right now, Capricorn, some of you do see this, some of you don't, but uh, what this is saying is that your pain... The pain that you're experiencing or the heartbreak that you've experienced or whatever may have seemed to gone wrong or gone awry in your life up until this point, Capricorn, this pain can be used and transmuted into fuel to drive you forward, the chariot. Okay. Sorry, guys. Hold on a second. All right, Capricorn, let's get into the second half of your reading. Yes, so this is going to look at the current energy up until the future or off into the future. Yes, first set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. In the second half of your reading, you have the Knight of Swords fighting forward. But what I heard is fighting forward and sticking to it. Okay, this is determination to clear out whatever it is that's obstructing your focus, your point of view or your direction. Knight of Swords is coupled with the Two of Cups. All right. So you did, this is Capricorn. This is awesome. Sorry about that. This is awesome, Capricorn. Because what this is saying to me, the Two of Cups is not representing um, an external relationship. Even though you might have an external relationship that kind of represents or it looks like this. Or you might be dealing with an external relationship. Uh, whatever. Whatever. What I'm feeling for you, Capricorn, is that you have this bond and this union within yourself, and this is what you are fighting for. You are fighting for yourself because of this sense of burden, no, this sense of bond, union within yourself that is allowing you to start to recognize Four of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Sun as your overall energy, what is burdening you. And how it is you can relieve yourself of it. This is you fighting for that. Knight of Swords, Two of Cups. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. In the second half of your reading, you have the Seven of Pentacles. The reason why you're moving forward in this way, Capricorn, is because you understand. Either it is, either you understand where it is you're trying to go, what the fruits of your labor should be, meaning what it is you are setting out to develop or to grow, to receive what your end goal is, you're recognizing that. You understand that now. Or you have a greater definition of where it is you want to be going. And that is what's keeping you, that is what's getting you in this process of figuring some stuff out to make a change. Because now with the Seven of Pentacles here, I, I feel like you recognize what it is you're receiving uh, whatever, what it is the fruits of your labor have been up until this point versus what it is you actually want to be receiving in, in the future. So there is a level of changing your approach, changing your process here with the Seven of Pentacles right now, okay? Seven of Pentacles is coupled with the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is representing foundation, it's also representing the foundation that has come with you working with this or working through this for a certain period of time that, again, has helped you reach a certain understanding that is allowing you to develop a plan of action moving forward so that you have better chances or greater chances of receiving that which you're actually setting out to receive or develop, okay? Excellent. Your challenge here in the second half of your reading, Capricorn is the Ace of Wands following through with your inspiration. For some of you, this is absolutely following through with the inspiration of what it is you need to be letting go of. What wands you need to be dropping so that you're not overburdened like this any longer. Ace of Wands is coupled with the Queen of Wands. There you go. And this is literally... Capricorn, this is literally you saying to yourself or being challenged by what is it do I actually want to be in alignment with that I want to pick up the charge of? But in order for you to do that, Capricorn, you are going to have to weed through that which burdens you and takes up your energy, takes away the energy that you would rather use or be putting towards what it is you actually want to be in alignment with. 
and thus you have the sun here, which is a beautiful energy because the sun illuminates and brings prosperity and good luck and truth. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Capricorn, in the second half of your reading. You have the Three of Wands. This is excellent. What I'm feeling for you here, Capricorn, in terms of this is you really getting in alignment to really take seriously how you like not how you move forward. And I, I'm not I don't want you to think that there is this idea or this view of you from the past up until now in which you looked like you weren't taking the path seriously. You may have always been taking things seriously, but now it's taking it seriously to a different level. And that is taking it seriously enough to cut out anything in your life that hinders you, that burdens you, that obstructs your view or obstructs your process or keeps you from moving towards your end goal, whatever that may be. You're taking it seriously enough to cut out anything that gets in the way. Maybe that's because you recognized or you realized that whatever it is that you're working towards now is actually what you really want to be working towards. And so now you that can, that for you justifies you making space for it. Whereas in the past, you couldn't technically by your own cognitive standards, you weren't, you didn't feel like it was appropriate for you to make, to clear all this space or to cut out other obligations or other involvements just for this one situation or this one circumstance or this one goal, but now it is. Now you can justify it. Okay, Three of Wands is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles. Exactly, exactly. Putting into process, putting into place the processes, the understandings, the whatever, that is going to get you ultimately where you want to go. Because now it feels like at this point, so either you could be in this energy right now or over this time period as you're going through this process of thinking about it, you're at the point now where you're consciously like, yep, let's move forward. Yep, this is what I wanna move forward with. Yes, okay, this is what I wanna clear space for. Okay, yes, I am committed to this now. Beautiful Capricorn, I love this. All right. Let's close out this reading. Um, I want to use the Crystal Mandala deck for you. I want to give this four shuffles for you, Capricorn. One. Two. Three. And four. Alrighty, Capricorn. So, closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit, for my Capricorns for this monthly reading for the month of September 2021. Closing Oracle Guidance for Capricorn. This is card number 30. Ascended Master White Matthew and Dan Bright. Original Self. Okie dokie. We bring you the blessing of original self. As you progress through your life, learning and growing, you gain wisdom and strength. You grow more radiant and authentic, true to who you are. And as this happens, many of the layers of identity begin to fall away. What you once believed yourself to be is shown to be not much more than clothing your soul wore for a time. You have outgrown it. It is no longer a good fit. It constrains too much, doesn't reflect your personality, vibrancy, uniqueness, and beauty, so you discard it. Perhaps you're able to be more spiritually naked. The sense of who you are becomes simpler. You are just you. Others may not, may or may not, quote, get you, unquote, but nonetheless, you are still just you. You are freeing yourself from the projections of others, of the world, and simply living as your original radiant divine self excellent so there you have it capricorn thank you so much for tuning in i hope this was helpful for you i love you all so freaking much i hope you have a fantastic month and i look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of october yeah excellent take care mm -hmm.